So this is my latest iMac G4 mod. Um, this is a little bit different than any of my previous mods for a couple of reasons. For one, this is the 20 inch. Uh, for two, this actually is the completely native housing and LCD. If you look at the housing, this does not use any really foreign components, shelves on the back, different monitors. It uses really the complete housing of the iMac G4. And the third thing that really sets it apart is the fact that this is an all-in-one. A uh, couple things are external here. Uh, we see the power brick for the motherboard, which is called an ECX motherboard. It's a 3.5-inch motherboard that actually sits on top of the uh, on top of the DVD drive inside the base. As you can see, this is actually the power brick uh, that actually comes from an Apple Cinema display. The reason why this is important is because it's actually the Apple Cinema Display's board that powers the inverter. The inverter requires 24 volts um, as well as 12 volts, so this actually allows me to get all the, uh, all the power necessary to turn on the computer without having to attach it to anything like an ATX power source. And third, just to allow me to use the native speakers, uh, this is the uh, Griffin uh, PowerWave adapter. So, Let's look at the uh, computer uh, from the side again. This is the completely native computer. Uh, obviously the neck motion is going to be uh, the same as you remember it. But let's look at the ports in the back. So the uh, power button has been rewired. Um, I actually changed uh, some of the audio ports here just to LED displays including you know, power as well as a hard drive display. Uh, there is a uh, ethernet port there. Um, Right in the middle are actually the power cables. You know, because the cinema display um, uses a, uh, a power, a non-standard uh, power adapter, there's no really female component that I could put here to allow you to just simply plug it in. So for now, I'm just allowing the cables to come out the back. And I'll see the other side. Okay, on the other side, we do see um, that I have put uh, actually uh, four um, USB ports here. Two are actually uh, come off the, uh, the board for the Apple Cinema display, which allows me to have kind of two independently powered USB ports. Two come off the uh, ECX motherboard inside. So, again, uh, I have a, uh, a USB uh, wireless adapter right here. Uh, this is the keyboard, and this one actually goes to the uh, Griffin uh, PowerWave adapter speaker. So, okay. So now to turn it on, we just press the original power button, and you can see the hard drive light come on. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, start Windows normally. Now, I'm in the process of trying to make this a Hackintosh. Uh, there are some problems with this, uh, just based on the uh, ECX board uh, itself. Uh, there are some workarounds, but it may require sacrifice uh, in terms of uh, removing what is currently a Blu-ray drive, which is inside. So, again, right now it's running Windows, but again, this is kind of a proof of concept just to show that this again is possible to do a 20 inch iMac G4 mod uh, in the uh, using all the native components so okay so now that we're on the screen here again I do just wanna emphasize that this is Again, you know, the normal flexibility, the neck is native, the uh, actual screen is native, everything is pretty much uh, the original about it except for what's inside the computer. And let's take a look at what is inside. Well, for one, there is, as I stated, a Blu-ray drive, so let's just go to eject. And there's our Blu-ray drive uh, in the same place as the original drive was. Now, let's look at the specs of the computer itself. Okay, so as we can see here, 
This is a Intel Core 2 dual processor. It uses a Penryn chip. This is actually the same chip that's available, at least as of right now, on the current generation of Mac Minis. Uh, it's four gigabytes uh, in terms of the RAM, and again, uh, this is using uh, uh, Windows 7 currently right now. So, uh, except for putting Snow Leopard on here, uh, this is pretty much exactly what I had planned. It's uh, a complete all-in-one 20-inch. Uh, of note, the board I'm using, the ECX board, is apparently going to be made in the next few months. There will be a variety that will allow uh, for Sandy Bridge processors. So uh, just keep your ears out for that, and thank you for watching.